Okay, here are the answers to the quiz given today. First one, how many significant figures are in 0 0.0067? First write it in the scientific notation. Uh, so you can see that to bring the decimal after the first number, you got to move it one, one, two, three places to the left. So it's 6.7 times 10 to the negative 3 which means there are two significant figures. What's the sum of these three numbers? You know, when you add or subtract, you look at the minimum number of decimal places. Uh, so this one, 1 1.9 has only one decimal point here, one decimal place, just the number 9 after this. Therefore, the answer should only have one number after the decimal place. Therefore, although you get 6.602, you round it off to 6.6. .6. There should only be one place after the decimal because that's the lowest in 1.9. What's the percent uncertainty in this measurement? 2.58 plus or minus 0 0.15 centimeter. Now that's the uncertainty, right? 0 0.15 centimeters. So you, what you do is 0 0.15 centimeter divided by 2.5 weight times 100 gives 5.8 percent. That's it. So all you got to do is just take the uncertainty part divided by the given number times 100. A person walks in a distance x northward, so the person starts from here and walks x to the north and walks a distance 7x to the south. And if the total displacement is 400 meters south, okay. Now remember the displacement is this, right, from the starting point to the finishing. And uh, how much is that? If this is x, this is 7x. Surely this will be 6x, right? So 6x is given as 400. 6x is 400, therefore find x. 400 divided by 6, which is 66.67. And then you got to find the distance. Total distance is, of course, 8x. Because distance is, you got to measure all the way. So x, oh, so that's x plus 7x, so 8x. Therefore, total distance is 8x. And since we know x is 66.67, just multiply. And uh, significant figures, there are only 3. Therefore, 533 meter. Number 5, the position of an object is given by this function xt is 3t plus 2t squared. What's the displacement of the object between 4 seconds and 5 seconds? So what's to be done is first substitute for t as 4, find x, then substitute for t as 5, find x, and displacement is just the difference between the two x's. So for x4, you get this, which is 12.0 plus 32, 44.0 meter. Okay. At 6, no, I mean 5 seconds. Now substitute for T as 5. Fifteen point zero plus fifty point zero that's sixty five meters. So displacement delta x is the difference between the two, which is sixty five minus forty four is twenty one meter. Uh, perfectly speaking, it's twenty one meter. Well, you cannot give the direction here. Of course, nothing is mentioned. Forget that. All right, number six, airplane, initial speed, 200 meter per second, final is 240 
and x or delta x is 1200 meters find a can you have a question more straightforward than this the equation is vf squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a delta x make a the subject just plug in the numbers and you have the answer 7.33 meter per second squared a car starts from rest and accelerates at 1 meter per second squared for 3 seconds and then continues for 5 seconds at constant velocity find the total distance ok in the first part these are the given terms v naught is 0, a is 1, t is 3 and delta x use v naught t plus 1 half a t squared so in those three seconds you get the displacement as 4.50 meter now in the second part it's moving with a constant velocity but that constant velocity would be the final velocity of the first part so we got to first find that final velocity which is acceleration multiplied by time it's 3 meter per second and since it's constant velocity you just multiply that velocity with the time which is 5 seconds to get that displacement during the second part to get the total add them up so it's 19.5 meter which is the sum of these two 8 1 a good question a speeding car is traveling at 30 meter per second and it passes a stationary police car. The police car delays its motion for one second before starting. What must be the constant acceleration of the police car to catch the speeding car if the police car travels the distance 300 meter? All right, so that's the distance traveled by the police car. And uh, you know, this car was already 30 meters ahead. How do you know it's 30 meters? because that's the distance moved in one second since the speed is 30 meter per second so which means uh, that the police car had to travel 270 meters which is uh, in nine seconds right because that's 270 meters 270 divided by 30 is 9 seconds. Since we have the time, now it's easy. The initial loss to the police car is zero. Looking for acceleration. Total displacement is 300, but you only have 9 seconds. So substitute into this equation. you get 7.41 meter per second squared you know we know then the important part is that uh, you have to figure out the time taken is nine seconds because the speeding car has moved 270 meters and uh, obviously you have to get the time it's a direct question two objects are dropped from a bridge an interval of one second apart what is the separation one second after the second object is released? So that means the first object has been traveling for two seconds. While the second object has only been traveling for one second. Okay. First object has been traveling for two seconds. You can find the displacement. Initial velocity is zero. Acceleration is 9.8. use this equation and you get 19.6 meter now the second object has only been traveling for one second same scenario same equation except that the time is one second 
So when you substitute and calculate, you're going to get 4.9 meter. So what's the separation between them? Take the difference. Because one has moved through 19.6 meter, the other has moved through 4.9, so the distance between them is 14.7 meter. Brings us to the last one. You got to find the net displacement. How do you find the displacement from a velocity time graph? Just find the area. So find the area of those little parts. The triangle there is 4 meter. A small triangle there is 2 meter. 4, 8, this is 1, this is negative 1. Now that's an important part. Why is it negative? Because it's on to the negative side of the graph. So these two are going to cancel out. And the remaining is 18 meter. That's it. This is an easy quiz. So good luck.